Hi, I'm Doug from Automated Rain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to winterize a sprinkler system that's hooked up to culinary water with the Wilkins RPZ Backflow Preventer. First thing you're going to need before you start this is a small straight bladed screwdriver and a stop and waste key. So what you're going to want to do is locate your stop and waste. That is the valve that turns on and off your water supply. It's located close to your water meter. On this home, the water meter is in the grass. It's in the front of the home. And as you can see on this one, the grass has grown over it. If you look down here, you're looking for that round metal valve or meter cover. Okay? From there, you'll go towards the house, usually anywhere from 12 inches to three feet is typically where it is, and it's usually straight in line. Again, on this home, we can't see it, so we're gonna need to find it. There's a couple different ways to find it. The easiest way I've found is either just to feel around, trying to fill a hard substance, or use a screwdriver by stabbing it in the ground until you find it. What you're looking for is a two inch round yellow or orange disc. Okay, so we're gonna look through here. Oh, hear that? So, we'll open up and sure enough, there it is. Now again, the grass has grown over this one and has hidden it. So this is what you are looking for. When you find it, you simply untwist it, going counterclockwise, and it will pull off. Okay? After that, you'll take your stop and waste key and you drop it in. It doesn't matter how you drop it in, but when you drop it in, you twist it slightly and you'll feel it catch on something. That is the the end of the key hooking into the stop and waste valve. And what you're going to do is turn that a quarter of a turn, only a quarter of a turn, no more, no less. If you keep cranking, you'll break it. So just a quarter of a turn. That's in the off position now. That's the on position. Okay? Off. So let's turn it off. And now we need to locate the backflow preventer. The backflow preventer is a metal apparatus that sticks up above ground about 18 inches. Uh, and it's always in the front of your home, so it can be seen from the street. On this home, it's over on the side. This is what we're looking for here. Okay. This is a Wilkins RPZ backflow preventer. To winterize this, we need to release the water pressure. We do that by opening up the four ports. You got these uh, four ports located on it, and they take that straight screwdriver. If you notice on here, there's a, a blade, a straight blade hole where we can stick the screwdriver into. Okay, I'll open up this one over here. Now it's common on these to sometimes have water shoot out, so I'm gonna put my hand above it, especially this last one, okay? That is common. Now you see how the water drains out of that? You also may have noticed some water coming out of the bottom. All that is good and correct. So that's all you need to do to uh, winterize your sprinkler system hooked up to a culinary water supply. It's extremely, extremely important that you do not close these two blue handles, okay? If I were to close those handles, then it traps a little bit of water in these areas and it will pretty much 100% of the time freeze and break. So let's leave those open all winter, allow the water to spill out and your system will uh, now, all the automatic drains will be able to open up and release the rest of the water that won't come out of here. If you have a hose bib on your sprinkler system, I'd also encourage you to open that and that will allow more air into your system as well. And then don't forget to go to your garage and turn off your timer, put it in the off position, and you're ready to go until spring.